I want to hit the way back machine in particular to the, the day you were a rookie, undrafted, and you're playing for Bill Parcells. What in the world was that like, Adam? Well, that was, a, that was an interesting time for sure. I know uh, Coach Parcells was not real big on rookies and particular rookie kickers. And, <laughs> and I think my whole training camp, he, he challenged me um, every way he could. You know, if it was – if it was something like, uh, you know, when I was kicking field goals, he would literally stand in my line to kick the ball or he would cast shadows on top of where we're, you know, or if he, he would do anything he could to kind of play some mind games with me, which, you know, I, I don't know what everybody thinks about that, but I kind of like that. I, I've, I've always kind of enjoyed, you know, being right in the middle of, of the action and, and kind of feeling that I've, I've never shied away from, trash talking or being in the middle of that kind of stuff. So it was, it was an interesting time. I think the most pressure that he ever put on me was, was um, before our third preseason game, he right before our team meetings on the, on the Saturday night before the game, he, he came up to, to all of us specialists standing around waiting for the team meeting. He said, all right, Benetari, here's the deal. He said, I'm going to see if you got what it takes or if you pack up your <clears throat> and get out of here. Uh, he said, you got all the field goals, all the extra points, all the kickoffs. I'm going to see if you can handle it or if, you, if you're packing up and going home. And pretty pretty straightforward challenge, I guess, in, as far as that's concerned. And uh, I had a great game. You know, that game in particular, I made all my kicks, and, and, they, and they released Matt Barr the next day, which was a shock to me because Matt was, you know, his longtime his kicker and probably his favorite all-time kicker and done so much in helping him, you know, win Super Bowls in the past that, that for him to actually give me the opportunity to, to try to – do this was was pretty impressive but he was always a guy that was trying to to challenge not only me but all of his team you know he wanted to make sure he had guys that he could trust going into battle and and do what that they had what it took is it true that you didn't really make your bones with them until you made a tackle uh on special teams (laughs) of herschel walker is that a true story adam well you know i i Probably, I think at some point. I know after after that game and, and being able to run down Herschel and, and tackle him, he he made a comment to me. He goes, "You're more than just a kicker to this team now. You're going to be looked differently by your teammates." And I wasn't sure that I understood what that meant, but uh, after that, it, it did change. And I think everybody treated me a little bit different. You ran him down, Adam Vinatieri. You run you run down Herschel Walker, man. Look at you. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.